All right, we are here in Mykonos town in E. Asteria with Irini. Irini, Harika, Kalispera. You speak like Mykonian. I'm trying. <laughs> Great. So Irini is a mosaic artist, and so her work begins in reference to the Greek history and archaeology of Delos Island, but you're also a contemporary mosaic art maker. The work is beautiful and I'm happy to introduce our audience to your workshop here in Mykonos town and to the work that you're doing. So Irini, it's my understanding that you are both selling mosaics and making them here yes. and also teaching people in small workshops and classes how to make mosaics, right? Yes, correct. Great. So nice to be here. Maybe we could start. You could just tell me a little bit about uh, like the connection to Delos. Yes. You to Let's start with the name of the shop. Can you explain it to me? Yes, Asteria. Asteria was a beautiful girl, a star, and uh, Zeus fall, fall in love with her, but Asteria didn't want him. So uh, Zeus was very angry about that and threw Asteria to became an island, but nobody can see her. So Asteria, the island, go from here to other places and nobody can see her. But when Artemis and Apollo born on uh, Asteria, on the island, uh, Asteria became the loss that means something that you can see okay for that reason the name of my soul Nice. Asteria. And so to put a, this in context, Delos is the archaeological site, one of the most important in Greece. Is that right? Yes, it's uh, the biggest one. Right. And so visitors to, Mykona, to Mykonos often make a day trip to Delos, right? It's a must. A must. Yes, it's right. a must. So if you are visiting Mykonos, you want to make sure to create the time to visit Delos as well. And Delos has a long and beautiful mosaic tradition, right? Yes. Okay, so can you tell me how is your shop connected to Delos? Okay, this one is a um, detail from a big mosaic floor from the house of, uh, of masks. Also this one is a uh, detail from a big uh, floor, uh, the house of dolphins. Also this one, it's, uh, it's very famous, uh, Tanit, also from the house of dolphins which this symbol is very strong because it's the most ancient eye which ward off the evil spirit. So all the people want this one. In their homes? Yes, at the entrance of the house. Okay. Here in Mykonos or throughout Greece or? This is from Delos also. Okay. The original is on Delos. Nice. And you told me just briefly about when you make a mosaic some of them are exact replications and some of them yes. are more loosely interpreted. Yes, or inspired from some, from, not only for Delos, from other uh, cities, of course. Mm -hmm. But I love more Delos because I know, I have more information about the mosaic mm -hmm. of Delos. Mm -hmm. uh, I use the same technique Great, can that, you show me? Yes, that they use in ancient Greece. So I don't have machines and I cut my stones like this. And so where is the raw material coming from? Um, I will show you. I have stones all over the Greece, different materials. Okay. And so Irene has been featured in all kinds of international magazines for her work <laughs> and profiled for the uh, just gorgeous creations that she's making. Wow. And so what is this that you're showing me? The, this is different kind of stones, a marble, dolomite and limestones, different uh, colors and okay. uh, all over the Greece. So it's the stones that I love to use. Okay. And so you start with uh, the raw materials, these large blocks yes. of stone? Yes. And crush it into smaller pieces? Yes, and then... And then 
even smaller. And I can cut very, 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 very small, very tiny. Wow. And so these small squares in many different sizes, can you show me the next step once you have created these yes. individual building blocks? Yes. Um, so I made the glue because I don't want to smell chemical things and because I work many, many hours, so... You make your own glue? Yes. Wow. It's uh, flour, honey, and uh, water. Is it strong enough? Yeah. It's only for finish the mosaic, and then I used epoxy. So you see this side right now. Here it's the, the back side. Okay. And then I will reverse. And it will be like this. Okay. You see, I have I have a design. I have the uh, gaze Gaza. Gaz. Mm -hmm. Gaz. And then with the flower glue. When I finish, I will put the epoxy, the resin. And then I will clean it. It's very easy to clean the flour and the honey. Mm -hmm. So, and it will be in a frame or it will be on so the floor or on the wall. The flour and the honey is what goes between the pieces and then you wash it away? Yes. And the epoxy holds it in place. Exactly. I understand. Wow. And so in addition to making these pieces for your workshop and for sale like a gallery here, and you're also doing gallery shows, you told me, you're also teaching classes and workshops, right? Yes. Can you tell me about those? Yes, I have a very nice place next to my workshop, a cinema and a mm -hmm. very nice garden. So during the morning, I have classes over there and the, the students can make a small mosaic. Mm -hmm. And then when finish the class, they will take home. Right, and you were telling me that these are some examples of mosaics that some of your students made yes. yesterday in your class. Yes. And you were saying it's a great activity for families, right? Or for yes. couples. Yes. Spend a couple hours in the morning sitting in the garden. And they have their own mosaic, maybe something from Delos right. or something, a uh, windmill from Mykonos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you provide all the materials? Yes. So all they have to do is show up and... Great, wow. And then in the off season, you're also working, we know that Mykonos has a very international population, people from around the world who are living here. Yes, and exactly. And uh, we, have, um, we have two times in a week, from three hours per day, and uh, we do mosaic class. Nice. So they have also activity and uh, they are with other people, speak, we have to get tea. <coughs> Costadine. Great. And then you also do a lot of. <coughs> oh, sorry. No problem. You do some custom work as well. Is that right? Yes. Great. Usually I work uh, with commissions. Okay. They order me a piece and nice. then send to, okay. to the country. Irini, can you take me around the shop and just show me a couple of pieces and talk about them and maybe okay. where the inspiration or the process? Okay. The lion that I love very much. Can you bring it over or is it hanging? Uh, yes, I have one more. Yes. And these are the lions, <laughs> lions of Delos, right? Yes, but the lion of Delos is a marble. It's a sculpture. Here mm -hmm. we have mosaic. It's my idea. Mm -hmm. So I love this piece. Beautiful. I remind me Delos. I feel that I am more from Delos than from Mykonos. Mm. This is the nice. Road. And why do you feel that way? Because I, I I love Dallas more. Mykonos is very crowded for mm -hmm. me. <laughs> I want a, a life more peaceful and right. And Delos is one of the most significant archaeological sites in all of Greece, right? Yes. What What is it that is so significant or special about Delos? Uh, 
because first of all it's the biggest the biggest archaeological site that we have because it's an island mm -hmm. this is all the attention and then they say that Delos it's the lightest place uh, in Greece so mm -hmm. Apollo the sun yeah. very important can you show me some of the more contemporary pieces that you're doing that are a little more three-dimensional? Yes. Something like this. Mm -hmm. This is a, a new uh, activity. <laughs> mm -hmm. You started doing these during COVID, you were saying. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm preparing for exhibition and I want to speak about recycling mm -hmm. because uh, our planet has have many many garbage so I want to to find something nice. to how, help. how is that piece connected to that theme for you uh, this is ceramics it's a uh, broken vases okay so finding new uses for yes old uh, materials yes the reuse it's uh, for me it's very important yeah reuse, reuse. Cool. can you show me some of the other pieces and tell me about them okay what about this one with so teeny? So these are extremely small stones, very yes. fine detail. Quarantine also. During quarantine. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one, the Dionysus. Dionysus. Mm -hmm. Also from Delos, it's a, a small detail. Mm -hmm. uh, this one has, um, uh, I collect also stone from all over the Greece. So mm -hmm. this piece has different kind of stones, mm -hmm. and pebbles. Um, Beautiful. Nice. Great. And then these are more traditional Delos pieces uh, or modeled on? These ones. Mm -hmm. Right now. Okay. And what do we have? What is this one? Uh, this is from Thessaloniki. Uh, uh, angel. An angel. Mm -hmm. An angel. Yes, this is from Beautiful. Thessaloniki, a big city. Uh, and you see the difference. This is from ancient, mm -hmm. this is after uh, Christ, so, but this is Eros, uh, before, uh, before Christ we call it Eros, mm -hmm. this is an angel, but you can see they used uh, similar colors. Beautiful, eh? beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. Irene, it's so lovely to visit your workshop and hear about the work that you're doing. It's really beautiful stuff. We'd like to encourage our audience when they're in Mykonos, if they're interested, to stop by and to have meet you, me. have a cup of coffee, learn. Maybe first to Delos and then to find me. Great. So you encourage I, people. I'm a little bit hidden. They must look for me. Okay. We're going to help them to find you. Okay. Thank you great. very much. And definitely to, if people are interested in a workshop, it's a great thing for families or couples to be able to just do something different. Yes. That's not about. Because Mykonos, it's not only nightlife. <laughs> There are many artists and uh, lives here, also in winter time. Great. So I will wait for you. Great. So at Santorini, Dave, we are, of course, writing all the travel guides, leading people to the best hotels and restaurants, but we're also interested in telling stories about Greek artists and, uh, you know, Greek culture in ways that help our readers to experience a deeper level of Greece. Irini, thank you so much for You're sharing welcome. your work with us. Nice to meet you. Bye. Tata ksana pume. Tata ksana pume, bye. And now I'm going to show you how to easily get from the waterfront to Mosaic Arts to Irene's workshop. So you're on the waterfront, you see this church, and it's just up this alley. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more super useful travel videos about Greece and beyond from SantoriniDave.com.